What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to talk about the 2019 Ram 1500, which we went and test drove a few different models the other day. And we're going to talk a little bit about Instagram TV or IGTV and the things that I've already done with it and um, what we plan on doing with it in the future. So if you're interested in that stuff, please stay tuned. It is Friday and this is your fast film for the day. Let's get into it. All right, so yeah, I had my first look at the new Ram 1500 during the Houston Auto Show earlier this year. Ram brought out the ultra luxurious Laramie Longhorn to the show, and it just blew our socks off when we were out there. It's, it was an incredible truck. Really nice to see all the great features that were on that truck. Then we got another chance to see the rest of the lineup at the 2019 Dallas Auto Show. Um, which again was really nice to see. I especially like seeing the new design of the Ram Rebel, one of my favorite looking um, Ram trucks. So that was definitely a nice thing to see, but I've still been itching to get in one and actually take it for a spin. So whenever I got invited out to this uh, small event that Ram was having um, here in Dallas, uh, I jumped at the chance to get out and drive these trucks. So I shot video at the event um, and everything is posted on Instagram, on our Instagram TV. You obviously want to go there and check out those videos. I'll have a link down in the description. I'll also show uh, some of that video at the end of this video if you're interested after I talk about Instagram TV. But I also wanted to get a chance to talk about the new Ram here on YouTube as well. So let's start off with the first trim we actually drove. And that would be the Bighorn or Lone Star Edition truck. The base price here is $35,895 where you get a specific chrome accents, cloth seats, and you have the available 8.4 inch Uconnect touchscreen, uh, which is really nice for your kind of base trim. Moving up to the next tier is the Laramie, which is a bit more luxurious and has a base MSRP of $40,790. Here you get distinctive chrome accents available with 22 inch wheels and an interior with leather trim seats. This is the lowest trim level where you can actually get the massive largest in class 12 inch touch screen. It's a really impressive screen. Obviously it reminds you of something like the Tesla. Uh, it's just a huge iPad like screen right in the middle of the dash um, and for a truck it's really great. You move up again and you're looking at the Laramie Longhorn Edition, which brings all the Texasness to this Ram truck. The Laramie Longhorn has a starting MSRP of $51,490. Or if you're not into the ranch style, you can get a limited edition, which starts at $54,090. So if it's the off-roading style you're looking for, you can get one of my favorite looking packages, and that's the Ram Rebel. The Rebel starts at $43,995 and equips your Ram with an aggressive all-terrain tire and a factory lift. This gives your truck the aggressive look you want, while tow hooks and standard e-locker electronic locking rear differential, combined with a rugged interior style, makes this a great option for the off-roader. So all in all, I think these new Rams have a great look. I really think Ram hit it on the head with uh, staying with that Ram look, but giving it a modern style. Uh, really great the interior. They've been doing great interiors, but they, they're just upping the game, especially with this massive 12 inch display. They're putting a lot into the car to make it more comfortable, to reduce road noise, to do, reduce wind noise, um, and just make it drive even more comfortable. Uh, Ram with its air suspension is one of my favorite trucks to drive because it is so comfortable out on the road. So I'm definitely excited to get one of these new Rams for a full week review um, and we'll do a proper review video after that. I'm also really excited about the truck rodeo this year because I just know that the uh, new Ram Rebel is going to be out there and we're going to be able to take that off-roading and I'll try to get some really great footage of that during the truck rodeo. Uh, so if you're looking forward to that, leave a comment down below. I'd really like to know because um, we got a lot of these that we're stacking up that we're just uh, eager to get into during the truck rodeo and get some footage of. 
So moving along, let's talk a little bit about Instagram TV or IGTV. So obviously the format for Instagram TV is a vertical format rather than a horizontal format. And it's drawn some criticism um, from a lot of people where stories, 15 second videos are okay because you're not, you know, you're not sitting there watching long form videos. Um, but when you get into three to five minute videos, uh, it, it's just, it's harder to focus on. You're losing a lot of space because people still are only going to focus on a little amount of the screen instead of taking in the full wide view. I understand all these criticisms. I see it as more of a challenge as a filmmaker on how to frame things and how to try to tell a story or tell a review um, in this different format that's still going to keep people interested. Uh, so I don't, we're not going to do full reviews on Instagram TV. Um, right now, what we're going to do is what we were doing for uh, stories. We're basically hacking long stories by putting several clips together. So um, when we get a car to review before we actually learn about the car, touch everything in the car, um, and do the full review on the car, the first day I want to be able to kind of go through the car, give you my very first impressions on the car, um, go through some of the stats of the vehicle that we're driving that week, and that's going to be our Instagram TV videos. And then we'll come out with our YouTube videos, which is going to be our long form full reviews. And I think that's just going to, that's going to be the way that we're going to do it for now. Uh, we might do some other things over there. I'm still going to post stories uh, if that makes sense, but um, I got a lot of cool ideas and I'm kind of excited about it. I know not a lot of people are, um, but uh, I'm kind of excited about it. So uh, if you think that's cool, uh, follow us on Instagram. If you're already following us on Instagram, be sure to check out our IGTV channel. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Now, like I said, I shot the video of the Ram uh, in vertical format for IGTV when we went to the event. And um, so that's posted up there. You can definitely go check it out. But also I'm gonna put a couple of clips of that video uh, at the end here. I don't like putting vertical video into YouTube. I know that's kind of annoying. So if you don't wanna watch the rest of this video, be sure to skip, skip it, uh, move on to the next one. But if you are interested in seeing kind of what we're doing without having to go to Instagram, be sure to stick around for this next segment. And as always, thanks for watching guys. Leave me a comment down below if you got any questions. Uh, thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and uh, have a great Friday. What's going on guys? We're up here checking out some Ram trucks. Um, Ram brought four brand new 2019 trucks up here and uh, we're driving them and uh, seeing, seeing what's what. Um, we got the Rebel up here. We got the Longhorn. Um, we got the Laramie. We got the big horn. So um, let me explain what all that means right now. first look at the new Ram 1500 during the Houston Auto Show earlier this year. Ram brought out the ultra luxurious Laramie Longhorn to the show and it just blew our socks off. Then we got the chance to see the rest of the 2019 lineup at the DFW Auto Show including the new Ram Rebel. I've been itching to get into one of these new trucks ever since that so I could get a closer look and feel for them. Well, luckily today is that day. Let's start off with a quick talk on the lineup. Your base trim is the Tradesman, which is a great choice for your all-around workhorse. 
Stepping up with a bit of flash is the Bighorn or Lone Star trucks. The base price here is $35,895, where you'll get specific chrome accents, cloth seats, and an available Uconnect 8.4 touchscreen. Moving up again is your Laramie, which is a bit more luxurious and has a base MSRP of $40,790. Here you get distinctive chrome accents, available 22 inch wheels, and an interior with leather trim seats. This is the trim level where you can get the massive, largest in class, 12 inch touchscreen. It's really impressive. Move up again and you're looking at the Laramie Longhorn Edition, which brings all the Texasness to this Ram truck with a starting MSRP of 51,490. Or if you're not into the ranch style, you can also get a limited edition, which starts at 54,090. If it's the off-road style you're looking for, you can get one of my favorite looking packages, the Ram Rebel. The Rebel starts at 43995 and this equips your Ram with an aggressive all-terrain tire and a factory lift. This gives the Ram that aggressive look you want, while tow hooks and standard E-lock electronic locking rear differential combined with a rugged interior style to make this a great option for off-roaders. All of these all-new Ram trucks have a great look and exterior styling, but also have a modern and updated interior. The Uconnect system is a fantastic infotainment system, and while the 8.4 inch screen is cool, the 12 inch screen is just an amazing addition. Ram has also future-proofed their technology by offering USB-C ports throughout the cabin as well, which is something virtually no one else has done yet. Ram has recently been one of my favorite trucks as far as ride and comfort goes, utilizing their air suspension. You now have the option of not spending extra money for that air suspension, but in my eyes, it's really worth the money. You can definitely tell the difference, and I just love how the Ram feels for day-to-day -day driving with that smooth suspension. All right, so all that being said, I really like the Rams. I've liked them for a while now. They're really great products, and these 2019s have really just knocked it out of the park. They're doing a great job, and i um, really excited to get one for a full week to test drive. I'm really excited to uh, go to the truck rodeo and see how these things do off-road, but for now, that's all I got. See you guys next time.